VFX is a complex and exciting field that has completely changed the way we consume media. From movies to television to online content, VFX has become an essential tool for creating stunning and immersive visuals that captivates the audience. It allows you to create things that are not present in the frame or make things in the frame disappear. Wait, no. It allows you to create things that are not present in the frame or make things in frame disappear or make buildings explode. But as a casual video editor, this all seems very intimidating and complex. But don't you worry. Today I'm going to share 3 easy VFX tricks in After Effects that you can try right now as a beginner that will help you to level up your videos in seconds. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional VFX artist. I just have a few experience in creating VFX for my own personal projects and a few client projects as well. With that out of the way, let's begin. Have you ever seen those movies where the text is stuck to the wall or stuck to an object in 3D space? For example, this shot in Ariana Grande's music video and this shot in the movie Uncharted or this shot in the opening scene of the movie Free Guy. Well, that can be achieved through 3D tracking and you can easily recreate that in your videos using After Effects. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how you can do that. First and foremost, import your clip and create a text layer. Right click on the clip and go to track and stabilize track camera. Now let the computer do its job. The next step is to turn your text layer into 3D. Bring your cursor to this icon and click on the box. Click on 3D camera tracker on the FX panel, which will make a lot of 3D tracking points appear on the screen. Just select a few 3D tracking points and then right click and press on create null in camera. Now all you have to do is copy the position values of the null object and paste it onto the text layer. Click on the null layer and press P which will open up the position values. Now just copy and paste the position values onto the 3D text layer which you can do by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V if you didn't know that. Now from this point onwards you have to adjust the scale value and the rotation value which you can do by pressing S on the keyboard and pressing on R on the keyboard. And there you go that is how you create the 3D text effect. You can use 3D tracking to track not only text but also images, videos or even memes. Here I come. Yes you can do that as well. This is a shot of a guy. And this is the same shot but with some added flavors. Can you guys tell me the main difference between the two clips? The main difference that I see is that in the second one, the guy is looking way more cooler and epic. And there are two reasons as to why. The first one is the 3D particles. The particle effect in the second one just adds a different dynamic altogether, which helps to attain that epicness. Now you can achieve that level of epicness too. Let me show you how. Just like the last step, 3D track your clip and after it's done, click on create null and camera. Now you need to create a new solid layer. Now you can rename it to particles. Now you have to go to the FX and search for particle. Drag and drop CC particle world onto the solid layer. Now it's gonna look like that someone just vomited a bunch of yellow stuff onto your clip. But don't you worry, we can fix that easily. Go onto the grid and guides and uncheck the grid, horizon and axis. Now play around with the birth rate and longevity. Go to producer and change the radius of X, Y and Z. Go to physics and play around with those settings as well. And finally, you can choose your particle type as well. For this specific video, I'm going to choose this. And that is how you obtain the 3D particles effect. Now that was the first reason as to why the clip looks so epic. Can you guess what's the second reason? Go ahead and pause the video and comment down below. I've got all day, I'll wait for you guys. Did you guys comment? So the second reason as to why the clip looks so epic is due to the sound design. Sound design is an essential part of any video. No matter how much VFX you add, if you don't add sound design, it is just going to look flat. It just helps to sell the effect more. And that is something Artlist can help you get better at. Artlist is an all-in-one platform for creators. It offers a highly curated music and sound effects library that is one of the best in my opinion. Also, it offers stock footage, templates, plugins, and even video and image editing softwares. Let me show you how I used Artlist in my current video. Firstly, I chose this clip from their stock footage library. Then I went to their sound effects library and searched for wind sound effects. Now thirdly, I searched for the music that perfectly matched the vibe of this clip right here. And for that, I chose the mood as, you already know it, epic. Now Artlist offers three types of subscriptions. If you need only the music and sound effects, you have a subscription for that. If you need only the stock footage and templates, then you have a subscription for that as well. And the third one is my favorite. Artlist Max, within which you get everything you need as a creator. It's like having your entire creative toolkit in one place only. So instead of spending a tons of money in different places, you have one subscription that covers everything you're ever going to need to create content. So link is in the description. Go and check out Artlist. And thank you so much Artlist for sponsoring this video. This is a shot with 3D text. And this is another shot with 3D text. 
Which one do you think stands out the most? Well, I don't know about you guys, but for me, clearly the second one stands out more because the subject is literally standing out in front of the text. Well, this is possible due to a tool in After Effects known as Rotoscope. Well, Rotoscope can be used to cut out the subject and separate it from the background. And let me tell you, it is really, really easy if you have the right clip. Bro, the right clip? What do you mean by that? Well, I'm glad you asked. What I mean by the right clip is that the clip that you have should have a proper background separation and the subject should clearly stand out. But if your subject just blends in with the background, then trust me, rotoscope is going to be a nightmare for you. It's going to take hours. And honestly, at that point, you'll be better off just masking the clip manually. So what I mean by a good clip for rotoscope is this right here. Now let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you the rest of the stuff. So right here I have the clip opened up in After Effects. Now duplicate your clip by pressing Ctrl plus D. Select the rotoscope tool and double click on the top layer which will open up rotoscoping window left click with your mouse and select the subject and for deselecting just hold alt and left click now press on spacebar and let after effects track it through the entire clip once it's done go back to the composition window and place the text layer between the bottom layer and the rotoscope layer and you're done it's that easy. Rotoscope just adds more depth to your video and you can try adding these to your titles in your videos to make your video stand out just like I did in the intro of this video. Now applying all the three VFX tricks and a few finishing touches, I was able to take this clip and turn it into something like this. Now if you enjoyed this video, watch my previous video on another VFX trick in After Effects. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.